Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this Crystal Connections video where we're exploring the crystal Cinnabar. Now Cinnabar is this bright red crystal. You can see there's some little bits here on a bit of matrix. I've got a pure red Cinnabar, tumbled red stone there. One of my other favourite pieces that I've got here is a little bit of matrix. You can really see that blood red colour in that one. Now the interesting thing about uh, Cinnabar is it's actually mercury sulphide. It's one of the most toxic crystals in the world. But because of this, because of its toxicity and its ability to re cause reactions in the human body, there its power comes. And so this is a great, powerful crystal. It's a magician's crystal and it brings that energy into your life and makes you direct it wherever you choose. Cinnabar can help you to feel more alive, more vital and more confident. It's really good for stimulating the base chakra. So if you're feeling a little bit unsafe, unsecure, unwilling to adapt to change and out of control in your life, then Cinnabar can help you to regain that control. It can help you to be assertive without being aggressive. So if you feel that you're being pushed around in life or anything like that, then work with your Cinnabar. If you want to work with your base chakra and really stimulate that, then get a piece of Cinnabar, close your eyes, and just relax with it sitting at the base of your spine either in between your legs or just at the back behind or just even sitting nicely in your lap visualize this vibrant red energy starting to spur around and spin around where this crystal sits and allow it to start to build up and fill your whole body do you start to feel more confident more powerful and more in control of your life working with cinnabar on a regular basis and even wearing it as a jewelry like such as the pendant that i'm wearing can really help you to be more graceful and more eloquent in how you go about your day. Because you have that confidence, because you're in control, every day becomes easier. And you become in control of your life when you work with the Cinnabar. If you're feeling a bit flat about what you're doing in your life at the moment, then Cinnabar again can help you to boost up. It's really great to take to work to make sure that you have passion and really give your best no matter what you're doing in whatever your occupation. Cinnabar is especially recommended for teachers. It helps them to have that passion to keep their students enthralled and helps them to deliver their information for what they need. So anytime that you need to inspire anyone, even if you're not a formal teacher, but if you need to teach someone else, when you overflow with passion, people can't help but be enthralled. So have your Cinnabar with you, and it'll help you to get that message across, whatever that message may be. As a magician's crystal, Cinnabar is really good for manifesting new things into your life. Whatever you need, ask Cinnabar to help you with it. It's especially great as a prosperity crystal. Now how Cinnabar works is it's quite interesting. I find it works similar to the teachings of the magician card in the tarot. And here's the magician card. Now the magician on his table below has a cup, a pentacle, a wand and a sword, which represent your physicality, your mental, your emotional and your spiritual abilities. And what he teaches you is when you can master those four, then you can create the life you want. So if you're working to manifest something and working with Cinnabar, ask yourself, are you balanced physically, mentally, emotionally and spiritually? If you can master those four, find balance, then you'll find things will come into your life and your life will run a lot smoother. One way to manifest with Cinnabar is do some physical exercise. Push-ups are great. Do 30 push-ups or go for a run and really get that blood per you know, coursing through your veins and your breath going. Feel that energy and then grab your Cinnabar and hold it in your projective hand and send that energy and visualize and feel what you want until your breath starts to settle down. Now you can either sit down or if you want to give it an extra oomph, stand in one of the yoga poses, one of the warriors. You know, warrior two is really great. Whichever one you feel most comfortable in. And really feel that strength and that power. Send it into that crystal until your breath goes back to normal. Then what you want to do is you want to carry your Cinnabar around for as long as, you know, for the next few days and look for opportunities to seize different things that start to come in. Remember, Cinnabar is something of confidence and so it's not about waiting for it to come, it's about seizing opportunities and knowing how to act when they do. Cinnabar sometimes is also associated with Archangel Michael. So if you are needing help along your spiritual path, call Michael, hold your Cinnabar in your hands as you pray to him and summon him and his guidance by his flaming sword carve the way so that you can move smoothly along your life path. Cinnabar has been used by the Chinese for many hundreds of years for its health giving properties as well. It really helps to basically help the blood to curse through your veins and it's been known as a blood purifier. So if you've got any issues with your heart, your blood or your cardiovascular system, 
then allow cinnabar to awaken that and to help that. This is especially good if you've got low blood pressure, it might not be so good if you've got high blood pressure, but it all can also help to detox the blood system as well. Because it invigorates that passion, it's also known as a fertility crystal. And this has been used to help people that are having problems falling pregnant in any aspect, keeping that nearby, keeping it in the bedroom, getting that passion going in the bedroom is another way that cinnabar can help you in your daily life. So hopefully you're inspired to find some cinnabar and to start working with it, to manifest and become the magician in your life and make the life you want. Before you start working with it though, it's a great idea to cleanse it. And this obviously being such a fiery crystal, I like to cleanse it with the element of fire. So what I'll do is I'll pass it through a flame three times very quickly, or leave it near an open fire. Now you can also bring in other energies that harmonize with the cinnabar to help strengthen this work. Now I will get guidance from a different animal depending on which crystal I'm working with and when it comes to cinnabar I work with magpie. Magpie helps you to act on any opportunities, to be decisive, to not hold back and to know which opportunities are the best ones to seize. You'll notice also that magpie is an animal of balance and teaches us that we need to be balanced in our lives. It has a beautiful song but you know many children and adults in Australia have been swooped by the you know the very defensive and um, you know almost dangerous kind of acts of the um, magpie. So they can be beautiful, but they can also be very stern. So it's about finding that balance between that beauty, that softness, and that defending what's important and what's right to you. And obviously when they're swooping you, they're just defending their nest. If you want a plant to work with when you're working with your cinnabar, then the best one is chili. Again, it's got that heat, it gets a blood rushing and all that type of thing. So eating chilies as much as you can when you're working with cinnabar is really great to get that yang energy cursing through your veins. And you can also get chili seed essential oil, which is great to diffuse, pop a couple of drops on your hand. You might need to dilute it if it's a really strong one. Inhale that, work with these, work with magpie, work with cinnabar and get that vitality back into your life. Now, astrologically, there's a couple of different planets. Being Mercury sulfide, it's obviously attached to Mercury, especially at quickening. So if you need things to happen quickly, then work with Mercury. But it also has that fire energy, so it works really well with Mars as well. So Mars rules Tuesday, and Mercury rules Wednesday. These are the best two days to work with it. Now, have you worked with Cinnabar? If you have, please share with our Crystal community and leave a comment in the section below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barillet. Blessed be.